Greetings everyone. Uh, this is Pramana Pramadi from Bolska Observatory of the Institute Technology Bandung in Indonesia. Thank you very much for the organizer for giving me a chance to share with you uh, our experience and aspirations about education of astronomy in low tech environment. Share my screen. This is a picture in a very remote area in the Timor Island, where the sky is really beautiful. You see this, the high density of stars, um, but at the foreground, you see a very, very modest uh, hut wherein traditional family live. And this is the region, an example in Indonesia, which need, we need to lend a hand in, in our education system. I will give you a brief review of how our formal education, prim uh, particularly in primary and secondary levels in Indonesia. On the left panels, you see how the distribution of schools in primary level from K1 to 6 uh, across the country. And uh, on the lower panel, you see the junior high school from K7 to 9. The number of schools in the secondary level is lower and this indicates the low attendance at the higher education and this also reflects on the distribution of uh, primary school graduates in the workforce in Indonesia. It's still very high uh, proportion of a primary school graduate in area which are actually uh, low tech and very far uh, behind in, in the development of the country. But we also see uh, uh, a little bit of um, a different level of uh, primary school graduate in workforce in prosperous areas as well in, for example, in Java, but that actually indicates some uh, kind of occupancy such as uh, traditional agriculture and fisheries perhaps do not really require ed higher education that's what they think but uh, at any rate it is uh, uh, con disconcerting that the still disproportionately high level of primary graduates in uh, the workforce across the country now in trying to help with the education, particular astronomy in um, various environments in Indonesia, we need to categorize uh, the learning environments into the quality. And basically what we see is the uh, preparedness of the teacher, the facility and how uh, they, how well they, they make the education program. So we divide into three, uh, levels, the basic, intermediate, and advanced. Um, I will just illustrate very briefly. Uh, the basic one usually are understaffed and the teachers are meagerly prepared. The facility is very low and the program is usually very stiff. The teacher only teach uh, whatever, they are, whatever they learn. So they are not very uh, free in maneuvering the program. Whereas in the very advanced schools, uh, you see that the facility has a um, very, very high uh, standard, including international one. And the program are all very flexible because the teachers are very well prepared, very well motivated, and though they are not very textbooky in their delivery. So the idea for us to uh, make a learning experience the best possible by uh, helping teacher uh, be empowered, but also improve the program. Now, to do that, we uh, put three elements uh, to, to prepare. First, the material development. Material development in that we need to prepare for remote areas requires us to identify 
where astronomy appears in their tradition, how it reflects their way of life and how in general their mindset is. And it is usually very important for us to just focus on fundamental important science concepts rather than um, getting busy with too many ideas. And uh, that is uh, the good way to start to enter the whatever level they have. And to do that, we need to uh, make the local context as relevant as possible with what we are going to deliver. And here and there, we need to add ideas and practices about environmental protection, as usually those areas uh, which are left very far behind in the development of the country are uh, very vulnerable uh, towards whatever is coming with technology. It's usually the fast changes and they're not usually ready for that. So all the material that we uh, develop will be delivered into packages and it will be divided topic-wise. So it will be, for example, um, earth, moon, sun relation, and solar system, stars, and so on. And each of those topics will be divided onto various levels. So for example, solar system for primary schools or system for secondary school, etc. And then we uh, pack them uh, further into how we're going to deliver them, what media or what platform we're going to use. Are we going to do storytelling? Are we going to use prints? Or are we going to combine prints with radio broadcast? And definitely we would have to add outdoor activity um, observation, which are uh, usually considered as big plus and the, the exciting part of learning astronomy. In particular, we will use whatever has been developed by um, our colleagues international wise, for example, Universe in a Box developed by Universe Awareness a Community, use materials, concepts, which are very simple, very attractive, but also easy to replicate. So those are the things that we uh, try to develop for the material. The second element is to develop the human resource. So we spend lots and lots of time doing trainings for teachers, uh, pre-service uh, and also in-service trainings and also facilitators. And those are who are not necessarily professional educators, but who are keen in lending their hands in, in the effort of uh, improving the education quality, particularly in their own area. So in those trainings, we offer subjects uh, particularly the content, so it, of course, astronomy and related science, math and geometry and physics. And since most of our uh, facilitators are uh, university graduates, so they are prepared with the math and physics bits, but the astronomy comes in usually rather smoothly because they are already um, very, very interested in astronomy. And it is also important for them to understand the local environment, how to communicate with them and know the local language a little bit, know the you know particular um, traditional behavior that the community have. It's, it's, it's something that make them easy to, to, to relate with them. And also it's important to be able to adapt with the, with the local living system that you know they will have to be there for a week or even more so they need to be able to to adapt to that and then introduce ideas and, and practices of steam which could be very interesting but also useful and for the communication of science they need to be uh, also empowered for example astronomy has uh, capture people that interest, but also it, it is something which is beyond daily activity. So we need to uh, build ideas of analogy and how to introduce scales which are beyond their daily activity, uh, orders of magnitude, and various ways of uh, introducing uh, science without getting uh, 
too much into the technicality of words. And also we need to understand that the delivery are various and then they could start with something simple, storytelling, reading together, but they also could be involved in, in class activities. They could do a fill-in for the teacher for the whole session, or they could just be there present um, while the teacher is teaching and help with the, you know, explaining pictures and give them more activities, but not uh, so much uh, as the teacher themselves. And of course, getting them ready to, to do outdoor uh, observation. It could be the sky, it could be combination between the sky and the ground, telling them about interesting feature of their own local environment. And for the um, sky observation, they could use telescope, they could use other things um, simpler than telescope. And the other is to um, introduce to them how we could actually manage such program um, from writing proposal, understanding the objective, and then uh, creating program with activities which converts to the objective of the program. So we hope that eventually they would uh, write their own proposal and uh, create their own program uh, independently. And the third element is how to implement that um, into something that could be sustainable, could be uh, engaging in long term and be enriched. So we need the program to be clear, to be concise, with well motivated target, and we know how long we could engage with them, and then we know how uh, the level of engagement, how long they could spend time with us. If it's just two hours per day, so be it. If they could spend half a day, then we could probably spend a few days with half a day each and then uh, do various things within those hours. And in any case, we need to be very, very prepared. So uh, we need to understand uh, the minimal resource requirement that would enable us to be there for as long as they, they could have us. And then um, you, we need to understand whether we are responsible for their logistics or just for ourselves. So we, we need to be really prepared because those areas are very, very remote oftentimes. It's not easy to get uh, there. So we need to be, uh, to make sure that we will be self-sufficient when we are there. And to be uh, sustainable and also be enriched, the program needs support and collaboration with others, so universities, our own university, and the local universities, and other universities might be interested in doing the same thing in their area. And we need to have a good relation with the schools and the teachers for the pre-program, the post-program for evaluation and other things. And we need to uh, know other teacher training programs which are not necessarily in astronomy, but we could use their networks and we uh, enrich each other with our uh, uh, topic that's our, our competence. And definitely in any case, we need to have the support from the local government and community because if we enter a school system, we need permit and we need support from the parents, from the districts, etc. So it is important that the, the children have the blessings of the government and their community to engage with us uh, during all those days and nights usually. So for the enrichment, it is Im important and usually very interesting to be able to get other people who have other expertise, for example, in energy and uh, water and waste management and biology, for example, who would come with us or come at different time, but be part of the larger program to enrich the education of the uh, local people. And lastly, it's, a, it's always good to be able to use the network and the broadcast um, domain of the national radio uh, station, because usually the head, at least the head of the districts, the head of the village would have a radio run by DC batteries that you know get news from 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 where somewhere else from the center of the government 
and we could just slip in half an hour or even less, but you know, routinely um, material from astronomy or other science that everybody could just listen. So those are the ideas and the aspiration that we have tried so far that they've been working quite well. Of course, we need to work more and learn more. So we hope that uh, with this, you know, we could get feedback from you and learn from your experience. So thank you very much. <laughs>